how many of you today had something occur to you either in your mind or a situation in which you thought to yourself or you said to someone else, ah, I wish it weren't like this. I wish it were more like that. Anybody here? Anybody here wish that your life would somehow be something different right now than whatever it is? Yeah? Well, part of what I like to say is, like it or not, it's perfect right now. It may suck. It may be difficult. It may be downright painful. But what I want to suggest to you is that whatever is right in front of your face is perfect. Life is inviting you for something you may not be a willing participant in. So they might be saying it's going to be a stretch. I like to say that before every birth there's what we call the big squeeze. Just think of what the butterfly has to go through to get out of that little cocoon. It has to squeeze through a little tiny hole that if you try to make it easier for the butterfly by making the hole bigger, you're going to kill the butterfly. Because what happens? It won't be able to squeeze through that little birth canal so the juices can be released into its wings so it can fly. So sometimes when we're feeling that squeeze in life. Life is inviting us to grow, to spread our wings, to not just change, but to transform. All the work I do, all the things I write, all the things I coach about are to help people understand that what's right in front of your face is the gift. You may not want to see it. You may not want to go through it. You may not want to feel it. But right now, whatever it is that's itching you, grabbing at you, cr pr producing that great squeeze, life is saying, use it. Go with it. Jump into the flow. Jump into the river and go with it. And trust that whatever it is that you have become a part of at this moment, there's something much bigger in you that wants to join the party. In this book that I brought tonight for you to see and for you to perhaps take home, there are 30 inspirational ideas on how to live your best life. The book is called Pearls of Wisdom. Pearls of Wisdom is what I have created in my practice. And the reason I call it that, aside from my name being Pearl, is that I recognize that every pearl is born from an irritation. And from that irritation, something beautiful is created. And so in this book and everything I teach about, you will see stories, hear stories, and you'll learn about how people have turned their lives around because of that piece of sand that created the irritation. So whatever it is for you, whether it's a financial challenge, a health challenge, a relationship challenge, an issue with your life in any arena whatsoever, say, thank you, life. Thank you. And yes, I'm up to the task. I wish you all that little sand so you create your own 